Hi everyone, welcome back to Loopy Mabel Crochet. My name is Jane and if you're new to this channel, you're very welcome. If you love crochet tutorials all thrown in with a little bit of vintage style, then this is the perfect channel for you. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell and then you'll never miss out on any videos, any tutorials that I do bring out. So today's video, I'm excited to share with you my latest creation, literally hot off my crochet hook is what I'm wearing today. This gorgeous, if I say so myself, crochet poncho wrap. So I'm going to explain to you how I came up with this design and how I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. So if you fancy joining me for some crochet chatter, I shall see you back here in a minute. vlog today on this design. It's not a tutorial because I wanted to pick your brains on how you wanted me to do the tutorial. As you can see it is a crochet wrap and it's a poncho style too so you can wear it straight on like I'm wearing it here or you can turn it around and wear it like a poncho with the V's at the front or the back and I'll pop some pictures up as I'm chatting of me wearing it both ways in the garden. So this is where I've been for the last few weeks if you're wondering why I haven't put many tutorials out because I've been working like a crazy girl on trying to get this finished. I am a bit of a perfectionist as you probably already know so I couldn't quite get the design exactly how I wanted it so I did have to pull it out quite a few times. I wanted to incorporate some sort of texture into this um, design so I've got a couple of panels so I've got a, a lovely lacy panel here, but it is quite a textured lacy panel. And then followed on with this gorgeous bobble diamond panel too, which I absolutely love. So, but the diamond panel obviously incorporates a lot more wool, more yarn for that section. So it did eat up quite a lot of yarn to make, to make this poncho wrap, but I think it's well worth using that extra yarn for just for me to get it right I think and then when I finished the design I was great happy really pleased with then I couldn't work out what I wanted to edge it in so I had a few goes at different edges but I wanted really to mirror the bobbles that are in the diamond design so I've come up with like a sort of a bobble edging not quite the pom-pom edging that I did in a previous tutorial. I'll put the link for that tutorial up there if you're interested in that gorgeous uh, crochet pom-pom edging. Um, so I didn't want to do the same on that, which is similar, oh here it is here on Mabel. Mabel's wearing the, um, Mabel is actually wearing Mabel. This design is called Mabel. And this is the one with the crochet pom-pom edging, which I absolutely love. And there is another tutorial as well that I, um, upcycled a blouse and I added this uh, trim on the edge of a blouse so I'll put the link for that up there and obviously there's a tutorial for Mabel design which I absolutely love. I've got two of these now in this gorgeous um, old gold colour and then I've got one in a lovely denim blue colour and I wear them all the time so I'll put the, the links for those up there for you. So yeah so I didn't want to repeat this gorgeous trim on this one. I wanted to do something obviously different so I've gone for this like bobble effect edging I hope you can see and I really I really like this effect that it's given so I think this is edging number four. Every edging I put on it wasn't quite right, didn't didn't look right, didn't and I wanted something to as I say mirror these bobbles so I think I've got it right and it's really pretty. So it just consists of two panels a little bit like my previous poncho wrap that I did the rainbow I think it was a rainbow poncho wrap and again I'll put the tutorial for that up there if you haven't seen that one. 
but as I say it is a little bit of a yarn monster this one and it took quite a lot of yarn. Um, I used double knit yarn and I used a five millimeter hook for this pattern design. So it is quite a big pattern although it is in like columns of patterns if you know what I mean. So I didn't want to do, this is what this is what I wanted to ask you, do you want me to do a tutorial so it just covers from from start to end on how to make it or would you like me to do it as a crochet along and I shall do it over say three or four um, shorter videos so we can crochet the sections together maybe do the beginning a section for the beginning and getting going with the first section of the panel the of the of the panel and then maybe a, a middle one where we are completing maybe one panel and then we re re like repeat it for the second panel and then maybe a third video which is the finishing off video tutorial joining it all together doing the neck edging and then doing the trim on the edge so i wanted to pick your brains which way would you like me to do it so if you let me know in the comments box below would you like the tutorial a full tutorial which is probably going to be quite a long drawn out tutorial or would you like to do a crochet along type of theme where we do it over a few videos and then you can obviously do it at your own pace and do it that way so please let me know in the comments box below before I actually record it. So I'm hoping to record it from everybody's uh, comments and your opinions and thoughts for next week. So if you can let me know in the box below that would be great and then I can get going with whatever everybody has chosen or go with the majority. So I've called it the autumn rain um, wrap because it's ideal for the autumn and I just thought the bubbles um, reminded me of raindrops so I've just called it the autumn rain crochet wrap and obviously there will be a full PDF pattern too that you can download too and you can get that in my crochet shop at loopymablecrochet.com and I'll put the link for that as well in the box below. The colour I've chose for this design I've got I'm wearing today is a gorgeous buttermilk so when we come to do the tutorial or crochet along I will obviously do it in another colour just to give you an idea and I might zhuzh it up and do it in uh, a few colours just to see what it would look like uh, plain against a few colours just to give you an idea as well of how it would look and it's suitable too for medium beginners I would say you need to be uh, familiar with the double crochet now these are in UK terms so if you're watching from the US obviously they're going to be in your US terms so you but you need to be familiar with the, the double crochet stitch the treble crochet stitch and then we've got trebles together and obviously the chain stitch so you need to be familiar with those stitches so if you're watching from the US you need to be familiar with the single crochet and the double crochet as well as slip stitches and chain stitches and then obviously some of these stitches here are like a mixture of joining together so if you're familiar with those stitches this will be ideal for you to have a go to and obviously we will do it step by step so it won't be anything technical and I will explain everything as we go along as I always do and obviously the beauty about the video is you can pause it, rewind, pause it, rewind as many times as you like until you get it right so that's not a problem too. So this really is just a getting your opinion vlog really on what would you like me to do for the tutorial so let me know. Now I'm also wearing um, my recycled Nana's vintage curtains that I made into a dress so I'll just show you if you're wondering what I'm wearing underneath and I'll pop some pictures of me wearing that as well so I've just done a vlog on recycling upcycling my Nana's curtains over on my sister channel Loopy Mabel's Closet so please join me over there and see what you think of this lovely top I made for my Nana's curtains and it goes absolutely I didn't make it to go with this but it goes absolutely perfectly with this I'll just try and show you a better picture but it absolutely perfect colour combination and also this one Mabel would go quite well with this top that I'm wearing so I'm doing quite well actually and it wasn't planned at all so yes yeah, so I hope you like this latest design 
autumn rain crochet wrap. I'm really pleased with it. It has took me longer than I thought it would to get it designed and created and made up for you. And I've just got to finish off the PDF pattern. So between now and a week's time, please let me know in the comments box below what you would like me to do for the tutorial and then I will get on with that and we'll go and we'll crochet along together as we always do. And obviously if you love this pattern and you love the design don't forget to share it with your friends, share this video with your like-minded friends and follow me along as well on Instagram and you will see lots of updates and progress on my next design. So please join me over there on Instagram, Loopy Mabel, and also for my dressmaking over on Loopy Mabel's Closet too. So that's about it for today's vlog on my latest design. Um, so if you've got anything you'd like to ask me crochet related or anything to do with my designs, pop a little note in the box below in the comments box below and I will get back to you and try and help you if I can. So if you do enjoy all my patterns and my tutorials you may possibly consider buying me a coffee um, simply by clicking on my coffee account. The link is in the box below and you click on there and you can donate a couple of pounds towards buying me a coffee and I'd really do appreciate when you do that because I use that money that people donate and I buy lots more yarns to do more tutorials for you lovely people. So if you do want to buy me a coffee I really do appreciate that and I'll put the link for that in the box below. But as I always say please take care and until the next time happy crochet. <laughs>